30-second knockout sensation. Watch the right hand of Mike Tyson. Marvin's in the corner and trapped. There it was. Just clipped him right on the chin. The left was unnecessary. Marvis is badly hurt at this point. Uppercut again, and there Marvis is out on his feet. Everything after this is just incidental. The Fraser camp had... Wow. <laughs> yeah. Baddest man on the planet. Prime Mike Tyson was an absolute beast. Um, So we're going to watch the highlights of the press conference. Um, yeah, I've been watching Mike Tyson all my life, man. The only reason I really liked boxing was because of Mike Tyson. Um, I mean, Muhammad Ali was okay, and uh, George Foreman was okay. I mean, they were they were great boxers, don't get me wrong, but there was nothing like Mike Tyson. So I remember when Tyson was first having his title reign, and he was just blitzing these people. I remember people like boxing purists saying he's going to kill the sport. This, no, this is amazing. Like, I love watching Mike just go in there, kill people, and leave. <laughs> like, he he wasn't well, getting paid by the hour. Well, that was um the the birth of pay-per-view, mm. and people were paying, you know, 50 bucks to see 30 seconds. <laughs> That's what that one was, 30 seconds of a fight. And it kept happening, so mm -hmm. some people guess, had... Three yeah. four hundred dollars in three minutes of fighting. So I mean, there's a lot of good boxers out there, but uh, early Mike Tyson just felt like a force of nature, like you were getting in there with like a rabid pit bull that you know knew boxing. That's you know he was he wasn't a brawler. He like he his speed and his his peekaboo defense and stuff like that just unstoppable in his prime. And he still scares people. That interview when he was talking about losing his daughter. And he looked at me and he said, you know, you got to go now, right? <laughs> that was, and Tucker Carlson said something. He's like, yeah, I wanted to kill him. He said, that's my mindset. He said, I'm laughing nervously now. He said, you should be. <laughs> and he scared the shit out of Joe Rogan, too. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, he beat the hell out of Don King on a plane on cocaine. <laughs> so I, um, I seen some of this, um, but. I haven't seen it all, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Well, it was a no-brainer. It was just, um, he was the new up-and-coming guy in the scene. And um, I like um, shaking the sports world to its core, and I'm doing it now. I, I, it's just something I want to do. What do you say to the people who are saying, quite, you know, frankly, you are too old to be fighting a guy who's 28? Well, I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Great, but my body is shit right now. I'm so yes. yeah, I'm really sore. I think you're playing possum. No, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's always wanted to do this. This has been a long time coming. We've been calling each other out for years, and we finally got to make it happen on Netflix, the biggest platform in the world. And things just keep on getting bigger and better. The co-main event. I mean, this is quite literally history that we're looking at right here. And Mike wanted this. Mike wanted it to be a pro fight. He wants the war, and so I respect that. I respect them for taking this fight for stepping up to try to put an end to me because that's what all these fighters have been trying to do is end the YouTuber. And if Mike can do that, then he's a hero. Is that, is that the goal here? Are you trying to put an end to Jake Paul? Well, no, um, I, I really like Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, you have to fight like his life is dependent on it because it will be. I, I truly believe that there's a lot of people who, you know, see me as an arrogant asshole, which I can be sometimes, but I'm just having fun and entertaining the world. And I do think that the older generation wants people to see Mike knock me out. But at the end of the day, I also have the kids, the middle schoolers, the high schoolers, the college students rooting for me and want to see me and Mike. This is quite literally the biggest fight of the 21st century because of the fact that it's Mike Tyson versus me, but also the fact that it's in 700 million households, Netflix for free for everyone who's a subscriber to watch. Uh, what do you say to people who say you're not good enough to box against the boxing legend? And Mike, what do you say to people who say you're too old to be fighting? I Why don't think, we start with uh, Mike? Go ahead. I think the people that said that wish they were up here. Yeah. Because <laughs> no one else can do it. Who else can do this? Who, who else can shut the sporting world down? No one else can do it. Just, so he, he got the both of us, and we're going to do this. And um, 
We're friends. There's no doubt it's friends, but in that ring, we're not going to be friends. Or are you leaving the door open for more? Hey, this seems like it's going to be pretty fun. Maybe we'll do it again, too. Yeah. Um, do you feel like you'll be able to take Mike Tyson's power at this stage? I know I will be able to. I'm, I'm a natural born heavyweight. This is, this, is, this is what I was born to do is to move up into this weight class. And I'm going to show Mike who has the more power because he's underestimating me. I think everyone else is underestimating me. And I believe that I hit harder. I know it's going to be tough. I know I'm going to have to fight through adversity. I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm, I'm scared. Don't get me wrong. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Smack you, Mike. <laughs> ah, that damn music, man. Shit. Jake trying to look off. So Mike just laughs at him. Mike's just yeah, he's seen see too much, part. you know. <laughs> what, are you seriously trying to intimidate me? <laughs> he calls him fat too. He's like, Jake, you're fat. He said, well, how did I feel when you when you you know you kind of fake punched him in the gut? Mike says hard. He said, Well, am I fat or is it Oh, he's like, well, you got muscles, but you're still fat. <laughs> I also hear a lot of, like, Jake's obviously a lot bigger than he's been in the past, so obviously people are saying he's on steroids or whatever. I mean, maybe he's just training really hard. He is fighting Mike Tyson. I don't yeah. think any of these guys could be on steroids. I mean, look at them. They're, they surely, God, they're testing. And the thing about this, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's a professional boxing fight. They do test for this stuff. And just... People think that if you take steroids, that automatically makes you big and jacked. It's like, no. Like, all it does is it helps the muscle repair quicker. You still have to put the work in. So. Uh, it's, not, it's not all the way true. I mean, uh, testosterone, or testy. I, I know some my friends who shoot this shit in their butt, man. They're big as hell. But you just gain muscle mass in a hurry. So. But yes, that that most steroids are designed to to Come just um, recovery. Maybe the only thing I can put up next to Mike Tyson would be the wrestling of uh, uh, Khabib, uh, Habib Nurmagomedov. Habib Nurmagomedov, yeah, yeah. I mean, I his can, wrestling was pronounce... just nobody, nobody, nobody yeah. could even start to handle that, and he retired like that. I think the person that done the best was damn replacement. Um. Little, it little was, guy, um, little, um, I think it's a guy named Ale, Ale Quinta or something like that. Didn't he? Yeah, do Ale, Ale Quinta. Yeah, it, yes, yes. Keeping it standing, yeah. Because everyone rounds, else, Habib would just take down, maul them, and then he'd choke them out. What was the guy that had such fast leg kicks? Um, um, that a, a, AJ beat for the belt. But, um, man, damn, he watched it so long. Um, <laughs> anyway. When Khabib was hitting him, he was he he was right in front of Daniel White, and he was like, "You see, I need a title shot. You give me a title shot." He was just mauling his ass, it, man. Yeah. I mean, it was like, it was like a a, a merc. I mean, it yeah. was. Yeah, right, every so now and then, just a, those fighters come along that are just one of once in a lifetime. It does make you think if MMA had been around when Mike Tyson made his uh, you know, debut, you know, like what what. What kind of damage do you think well, he could have done in MMA? We don't know. There's, there's never been a boxer step in the cage. Yeah. James <laughs> Tony. He did it once, and it didn't work out well for him. Randy Couture. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, you're right. And um, Street Fighter, Kimbo Slice, and that didn't work out too well for him either. No, it did not. So, uh, he did win yeah. a fight, though. Now, Brock Lesnar comes straight from wrestling and won the damn title. He beat Randy Couture and everything. Yeah. He got mauled a couple of times too, but I think something was wrong with Brock. He was kind of he had diverticulitis for a while. When when Kane Velasquez and, him, and and the um, Overeem, 
O-ring, the O-ring. other one. Yeah. The one. Francis Ngannou. You're talking yeah, about that uppercut? Yeah, man. He knocked, he knocked turned him into a Pez dispenser. Head up, man. That was the nastiest yeah. uppercut I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I got to watch my that at least once a week. Oh, God, man. Yeah. There was that another was uppercut nasty. that was done by a guy named Jeremy Stevens, which was fun because it started on yeah, one Jeremy side Stevens of the octagon and traveled all the way to the other. Like, it was the most telegraph thing ever, but it just murdered the dude. But yeah, that Overeem, that uh, that uh, Ngannou uppercut on Overeem is just, that, that is a all-time highlight reel knock. Oh, God. I'm still trying to remember the guy that kicks, so, that kicks so fast, man. The, the, that the B beat down. Oh, it's in Barbosa. No, did they ever fight by Bar- Barbosa? Yeah, Barbosa. That's or... it. Barbosa. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Barbosa. That's it. Who's also, yeah. That's... Boy, Barbosa, fast. no joke either. Yeah. That spinning wheel kick he knocked that one dude out with. That was a thing of beauty. But yeah, Habib didn't give a fuck. That can't spin... do no spinning shit on me. <laughs> Down we go. So, who, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So, Tyson, Paul, who do you got? Who are you picking? Man, you know, I mean, these things, when I get my feelings involved like I do now, every time they end up losing, except for when I was in jail and the Broncos kicked the Panthers' ass. <laughs> that, that was great. <laughs> except for everybody in there hating me. But, you know, I didn't really care. Um, they won. So, um, I mean, I, you know, I want Tyson to win, but mm-hmm. I'm just not sure. I think Tyson, if he could get him in the early rounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The longer I mean, it goes, the more it nobody's really Paul. seen nobody's really seen Jake get hurt yet. Um, mm-hmm. Other than the guy, I can't remember his name. The big ugly dude. What was the guy's name that won the belt not too long ago? Sean Strickland. Yeah. In Australia. Yeah. He called Jacob every name in the books is Mike Tyson. Old and you're a punk ass. And if I see you, I hope I don't go to jail. He's I will hurt you and your brother. Um, oh, Lord. You know, called him derogatory names about his sexuality and everything. <laughs> Sean's drinking That's Sean. Sean's shit, man. <laughs> he, he has he no is. books to give, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. All right, so much love, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take Tyson, man. I'm going to take Tyson. Yeah. I think, he, I think he's still got it in him. I think he's first or second round. He's going to land a big shot, and Jake's never going to have felt anything like that, and he's going to eat cannabis. Yeah. If it was sixteen out gloves, sixteen ounce gloves, and the three rounds, I would take Paul. Okay, but it is two rounds and it's fourteen ounce gloves. Yeah, mm, and it's only eight round fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah might just knock his ass out. So and he's calm. Comments, if he was, if he was, yes. if he was raging and mad, I would say he's probably going to get counter punched and knocked out. Yeah, if he was old Mike Tyson trying to be the Mike Tyson from you know his prime, yeah. But he's smart now. He's has Mike he's Tyson been the... knocked out? I know he's been knocked down and like TK. I think I think I think Lennox I think Lennox Lewis might have knocked him out. I think. Buster, Buster Douglas hurt him really bad. I know that. Yeah. That yeah, that came out of nowhere. That was That was crazy. Right. No one saw that one coming. But yeah, guys, some comments. Let us know who you're picking and why. Let's have some discussions about the fight. We talk music, we'll talk fighting too. So Yeah. Love this you. Is our, this is our first sports. Same thing. I'm gonna go do a NASCAR thing on Harry Dent and Punk Ass Dale. I mean Dale Earnhardt. Ah. Nice tattoo. I miss hating Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Brad won the race, man. Hell yeah. I don't really watch it no more, but Ford Power. All right, we're out of here. Body and Southern guy Audi. <laughs> <laughs>